Hey scoundrels, what's going on today? Uh, welcome back to the video. We are diving into some more auto chess. I uh, don't know what we're going to play today. We'll see what happens. Um, for those of you that are subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and continuing to watch the videos. Uh, I know that sometimes the videos can seem a bit clickbaity. Uh, I want to explain actually that a lot of people are like, oh, why do you always use these really clickbait titles? I'm going to actually going to explain because it actually, it's actually pretty important to talk about because I don't really like using the titles that I use. Um, but when I look at my stats, so I look at my stats for my YouTube, um, over six, 70, 75% of my new viewers come from recommendation sidebars. So only 25% of my viewers on the video on average are the current subscribers who get the notifications. If you want to get notifications, please hit the bell. Um, that will let you know. But I generally release a video a day. So if you check back every day, I'm going to have really usually have released a new video. It, it varies depending on my work, but that's, that's generally my schedule. Uh, when I put a really hardcore clickbait title, my uh, viewership from both subscribers and uh, people from outside, you know, from, from the the um you know people from uh the sidebar goes up massively hugely you only need to go back and look at the difference between the video that i released yesterday that was like uh you know using your economy which is where a game where i played assassins where i was rolling and also saving at different points in the game to try and make sure i guaranteed a top three um versus something like the number one mage build in the world uh you look at the difference the number one mage build in the uh, build in the world has got triple the views and most of those have come from new viewers on the sidebar. So that's kind of why you have to do it. It's just, if, you, if you're not a big channel with a huge amount of subscribers, Clay is very lucky that he has a really dedicated subscriber base. And he has about 30,000 more subscribers than me. Um, maybe probably a bit more than that, 30, 35,000, 36,000 more subscribers than me. Um, so Clay's got like 36,000 more subscribers than me. Um, and that means he's... One second, let me just do this. Yeah, so Clay's got got thirty six thousand more subscribers than me, so he's uh, obviously in a in a really really good spot to. I can do this. He's obviously in a really really good spot to like put whatever like whatever video Clay puts out he usually does really well. But for me, that's not quite the case. Um, I don't quite get that luxury. This guy's got level four already, but it makes sense with his assassins. So that's why I that's why I clickbait because I kind of have to. It's just just how it is. I don't like doing it. I don't think it's great to do it, but. I, I don't really have a choice if I want to get the views. And people say, oh, but you do this for the fun, not for the views, scoundrel. But views views are really important to me. Views mean more subscribers. It generally means more income for me on a monthly basis. And this is, this is whilst this is fun for me, this is 100% not, um, like, whilst this is fun for me, this is 100% not, like, something that I do purely for fun. I, I make um, a small income from YouTube every month, and the more views that I get, the more income that I make. So that's just why, I mean, I... I, I not not many people complain about it realistically i just get a few people here and there and but it's, it's generally a trope that people complain about on youtube in general um i try to make sure that whenever i do do a video title or i do do a um a video in general i'm not completely fabricating what's in the video i i am trying to basically i try to make the video sound good um but obviously i'm not trying to make the video sound implausible so that's that's basically what i want what i want to say about it I'm hope, hoping I can, I think I'm going to, yeah, win just by a very small amount. Take the unicorn, of course. Mm-hmm. This could be a goblin gamble game. We could be looking at a goblin gamble game. Is there anything else that I want to take? I'll take the, um, I'll take these guys. I'm, I might sell them later anyway, because I, I don't want to sell off the God of War or the this guy, because the God of War is a good tank at level two. Um, I've got four, five. I've only got eight. I've only got eight, eight gold on my bench anyway, so I couldn't get to ten gold. So I might as well buy some things just in case my plans change. Uh, and then I can always sell things when I get a bit more of a clear idea. But I've got lots of goblin pairs right now, so we could actually be looking at a goblin game. Although this guy has got a two-star soul breaker. But he's dead now. Cool. Our Gali Knight is a great individual unit, just so you know. This guy here really good individual unit to throw in any composition realistically let's buy that that's an egg and a shadow crawler i don't actually want to play assassins neither can i afford a egg right now there's no point so i'm just going to run with what i've got and get up to 10 gold again the classic scoundrel get to 10 gold at round seven um this guy's doing the same thing 
gets 10 gold at round 7, it just means that your economy gets a bit of a kickstart. Um, cool. So there's definitely a mage player here, that's for sure. Definitely an assassin player. Warrior Beast Warrior. There's not any, there's actually no knight players. And no hunter player. Oh, there's one hunter player. But there isn't any knight, any knight players, so we, we could actually play knights, but... Uh, I feel like Glacier Knights is kind of a boring composition to watch, so I, I do want to try and play... If I, if I can, I will try and play um, Goblins. Depends on if I can get this guy upgraded and I have a bomber upgraded. If I can get all of those guys upgraded and find a Ripper, we're on to something special, but if not, then we've just got to chill. I don't want to buy... I don't want to buy the Ogre Mage. That's a Pirate Captain. I'll take the Light Blade Knight and the Pirate Captain. Uh actually just going to put the pirate captain on I think he's better I think he's better than our Knight. I mean our Knight's 750 HP, he's 950 and he's got a big 150 magic damage stun. So, yeah, I think I think pirate captain's probably better here. Especially versus God of War. Uh, this guy might beat me, you know. I think there's a good chance. Problem is I couldn't really get past this God of War. Uh, but yeah, I'm keeping the knights around just in case we go knights. Depends on what we get thrown. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the pirate captain to get above. I'm gonna sell the pirate captain to get above 20 gold. I'm gonna put the Argali knight back on, and I'm gonna buy another Argali knight. There's a very real chance that we could go into into knights here. I'm not really getting much luck when it comes to the goblins, so. Again, looking after my economy. 20 gold by round 9. Uh, I'm actually not going to level up on this round because I just lost. I can afford to level up next round if I want to. Usually I do level up on curve, but right now I don't think it really matters. Although this guy might actually deal some significant damage to me. Nope, I killed one of his units, but I think I'm going to take a beating. Yeah, I do. Don't think leveling up would have actually helped that that much. Okay, bye, bye. Actually going to level up now. And then I guess I'll just put two Argali Knights in. I think two individual Argali Knights is better. Let's kill off the God of War. He's not going to be part of this comp. He's doing really well. This guy's doing great. I wonder if he's playing Feathered Hunter or not. I don't really know. I can't believe this guy is... Like, we're just one-star assassins. I suppose he's got a Shining Assassin, which is obviously a good unit. Okay, double heal. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this with, with very little, very little issue. Nice. So we actually do have good items for a... Like, we could play Dragon Knight or Glacier Knight. I'm going to pick up the Frost Knight. Didn't pick up the Frost Knight. But I did pick up a two-star Lightblade Knight. So, I'm going to put her on. And that's probably a good idea now to start investing in Knights. So, let's have a look here. Let's take the Wooden Club. We could take a double Frantic Mask. Like, take that. And take that. Yeah, let's go for Knights. No one else is going Knights at all. Um, we don't have to go Glacier Knights. We could go whatever, really. We could go Dragon Knights. We're actually doing really well here. Except for he used the... Well, that's disappointing. Come on, come on. Get it back before she does. No. Nope. Okay. Um, let's put the rip Did I? Oh, I realized what I did. I, um, I five out of six. Never mind, I'm on a lose streak, whatever. Let's pick up him. I, I think, I think I'd like to go Glacier six nights this game, uh, to try and counter the majority of the meta. I think that'd be a good plan. Glacier six nights, and then I could add a Storm Shaman in at the end. 
but like no one is going nice. So this this composition now should be strong enough to to get me through a large portion of the game. I've got a double frantic mask on my light blade knight as well. Like we're beating the number, we're beating one of the the, the first plays. We beat the we beat the top player as well. Probably killed his his win streak. Be humble is doing insane though. I should have beaten him realistically. I should have beaten him. He's got such a good he's got such a good economy and also Hell Knight, cool, and we'll also pick up the Desperate Doctor. Hell Knight is a good addition, and I think probably better than Ripper at this point, so we're going to put Hell Knight on. Did we not? We didn't buy the Frost Knight, did we? We forgot to buy the Frost Knight. Uh, I'm actually not going to level up here. Uh, I would usually level up to level 7, but right now, because uh, I'm pivoting, and I need to do a lot of rolling to get the, the pieces that I want, I'm going to wait to level up, uh, and I'm going to level up at, uh, at when I have 50 gold. So I'm just going to wait to get to 50 gold at this point because I, I don't think going to level 7 is that good right now and I don't actually have anything to put on that would be any good either. Okay, sweet. We're doing fine. But this Be Humble guy is in the best position in the game. He's got 52 gold. He's on a 95 win streak. 95 win streak. He's, he's doing fantastically. No one else is going knights, so that's why I've made the decision to go knights. Oh wow. I'm gonna buy Desperate Doctor in the hopes that we win. Glacier Knights, no one think no one really plays them anymore because of the, 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 the power of the the hunter builds and the, and sort of mages, but um Glacier Knights can be really good if you play Glacier Six Knights. Um because then your knights get the knight shield way more often. <laughs> What other item have I got left to choose from? Wooden club, broken sword, cattle hide armor? I think we just wait on those things. So I ignored a lot of knights early on, which is obviously a bit of a shame, but it's because I wasn't planning on going knights. Um, but just getting the, the two-star light blade and the two-star agali. Like, I'm absolutely crushing this guy. Right, we're going to win to 40 gold. That's nice. He's already seven. He's rolled down. Why would you throw your lead away like that? That just seems odd to me. I personally wouldn't have done that. Um, okay, so we've got another light blade knight here. We obviously, we obviously just take the. Um, this, you know, it might seem a bit odd what we like what I'm doing, but we obviously just take the. Um, a second, we definitely just take the light blade knight, even though it kills our economy slightly because it's really important to us. And after this, we can start leveling up to seven. So we're looking for Frost Knights and other Glaciers. Really need to get a two-star Hell Knight. That would be ideal. But we are on our way to getting a three-star Light Blade Knight pretty soon, so that's nice. Life Crystal. Okay, so that gives us a Halberd. Uh, Double Broken Sword actually gives us the... Double Broken Sword gives us a really good item. It gives us the, the uh, crit item, which can be built into... Uh, a pretty decent item for our light blade knight. Oh wow, absolutely fantastic. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is do this because double light blade knight at two is insane. We don't need the hell knight on. Uh, the question is, do I buy? If I win, I'll buy the Agali Knight. I think if I win, that's the idea. Another assassin player. So knights are obviously also very good versus assassins, which is why I've got them. I mean, the double frantic mass lightblade knight is just doing some serious work. Look at her; she's just tanked the entire backline by herself. Yeah, we're gonna win this. Sweet. Berserker. I actually don't think I want to play the Berserker version. I have enough damage if I'm playing a Lightblade Knight with the, the... I actually dislike the Berserker version compared to the, the um, other version. I'm going to just put him on. I much prefer running the non-Berserker version because you can then add in, um, you have the, the, what's it called? What's the, what's the name of that thing called? This is Be Humble. 
Wow, that was a terrible, 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 um, what's it called? Pirate captain up. Damn, we're doing fine here. We're doing great. We've got to check Alex, see how we're doing versus him. Are we beating him? Yeah, we are beating him pretty easily. This is a good decision. We made a good decision. It's another Argali night. I'm just going to keep leveling. Because I would like to get to level 8. And once I'm level 8, I can get the Glacier Knight comp online. And then I can start to roll for the bits. And I think I'm going to level 9. And then add in all of the knights. We could technically play Glacier 6 Glacier 6 Knight. But I would need to not run... I would just not run Hell Knight. Six Glacier, Six Knight. That's a bit of a pipe dream right now. Let's see how we do. We're doing versus... This is versus Ziga, man. And we're going to win pretty easily. Nice. We will eventually get rid of our goblins, but we just we still have use for them right now. Okay, there's the Frost Knight. So we can actually go for... All of the knights now. Just gonna put him in. Gonna pick up him. In fact, let's just add these guys in for the time being. Seems really dodgy, but I've actually just got the glacier knights now. And we got double light blade going as well. Oof. Please heal yourself. Well, might have been the worst decision, but it's fine. It gave me some more economy. We can go to level 9. Another light blade knight. Nice. I'm just going to save here, and I'm going to roll afterwards. I don't want to play the Berserker version, but, but, we could definitely play 6 Glacier, 6 Knight. The way I need to do that is, we need the 5 Glacier, and we need 5 Knights. Is this even, is it possible to say, play 6 Glacier, 6 Knight? I don't think it is, right? You'd need 5 Glacier, so you'd need every single Glacier. And then you need five knights, and only one of them is a crossover. So you wouldn't have space. You wouldn't have space for. No, you can't play five. You can't play six glacier, six, uh, six knights. That'd be ridiculous. After parties at my place, if we win, that is. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get rid of this guy then. Okay, so then we got a desperate doctor. That's nice. Okay, so sweet. I can get rid of this guy. I can buy the fortune teller, which is nice. Put him there. Who are we missing? Uh, let's keep going. Soul Reaper, okay. Okay, Soul Reaper, Fortune Teller. I'm not going to pick those up. There's a, another Fortune Teller. There's another Light Blade Knight. Nice, we're one Light, we're one light Blade Knight away. That's actually really good. I'm going to not pick up the... I'm not going to pick up the... Um, Oh, this guy's strong. Holy moly, this guy's really strong. Oh, we don't have Evil Knight. Okay, yeah, but we are going for six knights, right? So, damn, this guy's popping off. Uh, we just need Evil Knight. There's another Argali. I'm going to star him up. Hell Knight. Soul Reaper and Dragon Knight. Okay, that was a good little, that was a good little, um, good little set of plays. We just need to now work for, um, well, we could play four Agursis, but maybe, I think the Six Knights is probably better. I do think the Six Knights is probably better. See, Venom's doing some work versus my Light Blade Knight. That's why Venom's really good versus high attack speed units. After 
yeah, I think it's better to have the six knights in than it is to have the uh, the light blade, uh, the whatever I was doing, doing going to do before. All right, we're just going to chill on this round. <laughs> Let's have a look at what options we've got here. We've got a, another staff. I th think we could take some defensive options. I'm going to wait until we get more items to really think about it. I, had, I need to start working on my, like, my Hell Knight as well, if I can. We just need to get to level 10. Once we get a 3-star Lightblade Knight and a 2-star Hell Knight, we'll start going towards level 10. This is Be Humble. Oh wow, they actually just destroyed my Lightblade Knight. We do need to get a... We do need to get a, um... Disarm. But yeah, we also, I also need to try and get to level 9. Okay, there's the, there's the Hell Knight. There's also the Agali Knight. Um... I definitely want to pick up the Argali Knight here, so I'm going to sell him. And I'm going to put a little bit of experience in. Probably better to have him in over him right now. But we are we are close to a three-star Argali. Just two more Argali Knights. Definitely think so. We go, we add, go two levels up and then we add both the other Knights. And then we get six Knights Glacier, which makes us really strong. Oh, I just got one shot, and my uh, and my Soul Reaper didn't come on in li online in enough time, so I think we're going to lose this one. Damn, absolutely smashed. Maybe I should give some armor to my Lightblade Knight, because there's a lot of assassins in this game. Hunters, two assassins. I mean, okay, that's good. Exactly what we needed. Also good. And then a little bit of experience. Sweet, we've got a three star light blade now. Um I'm gonna wait to beat this and beat the next neutral round, maybe, and then we can see where we're going. I think maybe giving some armor to my light blade knight is fine. Because she's getting targeted a lot. <laughs> Need to get a two star defector as well. I've got a little peeny peeny little one star defector right now. So this is obviously what I take, and I'm going to put that on... I think I want to put it on Hell Knight, because um, he's just the best unit to have the defensive stuff on, but obviously um, it probably needs to go on Argali, because he's going to be my three-star. Let's give it to Argali. So that's definitely what we wanted. That's going to help me out a little bit. Um, Again, I'm kind of in two minds about what to do with the armor. I think, I'm, I think the best thing to do for me is to take the wooden club here and just give that to the light blade knight again just increase our attack speed as much as possible is always good this is zigerman okay i have a feeling with my three star light blade i should be fine yeah i'm perfectly okay no issues here how am i doing versus low yeah okay my light blade knight did the work it's the good thing about Lightblade Knights. They're really good at 3-star. People forget about that Glacier Knight build, but it is still super strong. I'm just going to put another... I'm literally just going to put another 2-star Agali Knight on for the time being. Double 2-star Agali Knight. If I'm going to put one over here... I'll put them over there. So we want to go to 10, and then add in these guys... And then we want to start rolling to upgrade them. <laughs> okay, this guy's got Dark Spirit. Obviously, Dark Spirit is really good versus Knights, but I just don't think he's got the damage to get through my lineup before... Uh... Yeah, Dark Spirit is like the counter, obviously. How many people are running Dark Spirit? One. One guy. Just the guy at the bottom. Agersis, full Agersis Devastator. Oof. It's a big rip. It's a Frostfire Dragon. Don't really need it. 
I'm going to take the levels. More important to get six knights in the field right now. With the with the Agursis and the Warlock bonus. I genuinely think six knights is good versus the meta. Like, you just get insane armor, insane magic resist. And yeah, hunters can definitely beat you down, but... If you get good Night Shield RNG, which you do when you get six Knights, it's always solid. Let's see how we do versus this guy. He's got the Devastator. Luckily, my Lightblade Knight at three star is not being targeted by the Dwarf Sniper. Oh, he's only got a one star Dwarf Sniper. Oh dear. I mean, I'd probably just give that to him because it deals more damage. I'll keep hold of that for the time being. Are we going to knock him out? We're going to knock him out. See ya. Another Dracula mask. That's the, th that's the third. <laughs> the third one of those. Uh, nothing here that we need. Just going to slowly, casually grind our way to level 10. And then we are going to add in this guy and this guy, who's only level 2 right now. Level 1 even. Is anyone running Dragon Knight? No one's running dragons at all, so I should find Dragon Knight pretty easily at level 10. This guy high rolled from the early game. He's probably going to get a top three from that. I think I might end up losing to this guy, though. He looks pretty strong. Oh, actually, that was an insane Argali Knight hit. Oof, oof. Come on. Oh, wow. I just got one shot by a two-star rogue guard. Wow. Killed him. Lost his, killed his streak as well. Thunder hide. Donk, donk, donk. Right. Let's add in this guy. And add in this guy. Not ideal, but we will get there. So now we have six knights. Easy. Has he got my magic crystal? Oh, we didn't get a magic crystal. That's fine. We got a staff. Another Magicka Staff. A Wraith Shard. And a Dragon Blood Axe. Absolutely taking this. I think it is just the best play here. Right. Combine. Put on. I'm definitely going to combine that. Wraith Shard. What can I build that into? I think I'm just going to take the double sword here. I just want to make my light blade knight insane. Don't think I can do much with that. I can do stuff with that though. Okay. Surely the yeah, okay, night shield. Night shield got me through. Night shield got me through. Resistance cloak and life crystal and broken sword. Oh wow, I got zapped. Zaps right at the end. Okay, so we're not working on him. We could be working on him. That's nice. Okay, sweet. I'm going to roll a little bit further right now. Because I want to do that. I also want to get a two-star Dragon Knight and a two-star... Hell Knight, there's Dragon Knight. There's Hell Knight. That'll do for the time being. I'm gonna give that to him. I'm probably gonna give that to her as well. The, uh... Can I change this? I can give this to someone else, right? Okay, sweet. We beat him. Just about. It's actually pretty close. There's Defector. Give that to him. I'll give those to people like that. It's not a Hell Knight. We need a two-star Dragon Knight, really. Okay, there we go. 
So I'm just going to work on these two. I don't want to start buying everything because I'm never going to three-star everything this game. Two-star Rogue Guard is definitely an issue, though. He just starts, like, one-shotting everyone. Okay, now I got blocked from doing anything there. And I got sight. Oh, yeah, for, I'm probably going to struggle versus this guy, I imagine. He's, like, one-shotting me. This road guard is insane. Don't need the dragon knights. We're just looking for hell knights. Desperate doctors and hell knights. Oh, desperate doctors and hell knights is all we need. This is really close. I don't really know. Probably best to put him on the front line, I assume. Kind of move her over there, potentially. Okay, so she's locked down maybe for five seconds. No, three, just three seconds, just three seconds. Uh, unfortunately, my entire lineup just got wiped out. It's always good. But my I got a knight and my helm, my, my, my light blade knight are carrying, so that's good. Okay, so we beat the road guard. If we beat the road guard, we win the game. <laughs> it really just comes down to night shield RNG at this point. Okay, Black Dragon King, we're just going to chill. We're never getting a three-star Hell Knight here. Three-star Agile Knight is an absolute monster, though. If I can get the... the um, What's it called? If I can get the... Um, the extended upgrade version of this, I probably, I probably will end up giving it to him over giving her this. Because I think it's more important to... If I have a look, if I have a look, he's got 265. How much has he got? 180. I think he's got the highest attack, right? So if I can lock him down for the same time that my Light Blade Knight gets locked down for, that's really nice. Rune Hammer, combinable. Um, I forget what I forget what that dude does. Claw Wand. Um, combinable on him. Not worth. Uh, it's it's okay. I think it's probably better to have the Hex, though. Let's take the extra Hex, I think, at this point. I think taking the extra Hex is better. Alright, so we've got a Hex. Who are we Hexing? We Hexed the... What's this? The Evil Knight? Oh, well, this is the guy that I don't have any problems beating, really. Oh, no, this is the guy that I have problems beating. He's the Rogue Guard player. He's like one-shotting my shit. <laughs> He's absolutely... He gets beaten by the mage player. I need... Strange Egg? I need Strange Egg? I would have sold that if I got another Desperate Doctor. Um... I'm just going to separate everything out. I don't want my Light Blade Knight to get stuck. That's the problem. Oh, actually, they're um, they're locking down my Agali Knight now. So my Light Blade Knight... In me oh my god. Did he just have like 50 Devastator hits? So we're still going to win, but... Very, very, very close. Oh, be humble, beat me. Another Strange Egg. I think I just have to go for the Desperate Doctor. Okay. Okay, maybe we need to go back to being less ambitious with that positioning. Okay, yes, yeah, it's just this guy. So he is locked down for a few seconds. I wish he was locked down for further. Okay, so we've got Ghostblade and Magicka stuff. Wait, Ghostblade gives me the upgrade, right? Oh, Be Humble's out. Be Humble is actually out. Oh, the other guy's out. We won. Oh my god. <laughs> we did it. Yes. 
It was a good decision to do the build that I did today. It's honestly, it honestly can beat mages and hunters really well. And people forget about it because they're like, oh, but it's old news. But Glacier Knight is still incredibly strong. Glacier, Glacier Knight is still very, very strong. A lot of the items really benefit with them. And not many people are going knights. Like, not that many people are going knights right now. Compared to where it was previously, the meta shifted directly to hunters. Uh, but Glacier Knights are still an incredibly good build. Genuinely, genuinely good build. Um, feel free to try them out.